is our director, Michelle Gillette. Hi, everyone. So great to have you join us this morning. Um, and as Erin said, please mute yourselves. And um, if you don't want to be on camera and appear on our website, just um, go off a of video and put your questions in chat and we'll address all the questions at the end. So we're absolutely thrilled to um, be talking about our pitch 2023, which has some significant changes to it. So if, as we advance to the next slide, um, we're going to go over the agenda of what we're going to talk about this morning. And um, this session, our sort of talking should last probably 30 minutes-ish, and then we have lots of times for questions. So I know as you, as you plan your, your morning um, today, that's what you can expect. First of all, we're going to give an overview of the um, historical pitch at WCC. We're going to talk about who can apply, how to apply, what the judges look for, what happens if you make it to the finals, and then we're going to end with um, your questions. The pitch at WCC has been running since 2016. Um, we've awarded approximately 50 entrepreneurs over $30,000 in prizes. Um, we have worked with for-profit and non-profit businesses. Um, students and community members are all welcome to apply. And we offer rewards in three categories for for-profit businesses, start, build, and grow to award multiple steps in the entrepreneur journey. And um, I'm just admitting people as, as I'm talking here. Start, build, and grow. So what do these three categories mean? Um, start means you have a business idea. You haven't opened up um, your business. You haven't made any sales, but you're looking to explore your idea more. And you've tested it out with some customers. Build means you've made some sales. You've generated some revenue. Um, you've made an impact. So you have about one to five customers. Um, you're in the early stages of running your business. You're testing out your your strategy, and you're looking to further define your business and increase your customer base. Grow means you have approximately more than five customers. You have an established business for some time with a solid customer base, and you're looking to scale even more and improve your operations. So what's new for 2023? Well, I am thrilled to say that we have in a significantly increased award amounts, which we'll announce at the end of this. We are offering one year of mentoring for all finalists um, from the Entrepreneur Center. And we have a separate competition for nonprofit businesses to really encourage um, nonprofits to participate. So I just want to go over the pitch timeline a little bit so you know what to expect. On Friday, Friday, February 17th at 5 p.m., applications and link to your two-minute pitch your pitch video will be due. Um, and then on Monday, March 6th, finalists will be notified. Uh, finalists must agree to participate in all of the following. On Monday, March 13th, you will attend a finalist info session. Monday, April 10th, a small group coaching session. The week of April 24th, individual coaching session. And then, of course, you get to present to the public. And it's going to be really exciting on Thursday, May 11th. And so we'll get into more details here. So finals will be required to sign an agreement form and email it back to the Entrepreneurship Center um, on agreeing to attend the coaching sessions and final event on the May 11th. Uh, finalists will pitch live on WCC's campus in front of the public, a panel of judges. Um, the evening is Thursday, May 11th, as we mentioned. Um, they will be recorded and they will be public posted on our website. And so this is going to be really exciting. Um, we hold it in a big space. Um, it's going to be a really fun event. The public is welcome to come. Um, and so you just never know who's going to be in the audience. It's really exciting and it's going to be so much fun. So, oh, can I apply? So, anyone basically can apply. Um, if you're a WCC student or a local community member who are, if you're a current entrepreneur or you're an aspiring entrepreneur who serves customers in our region, 
Um, if you're a for-profit a for profit business owner or a future entrepreneur with a business idea, one thing we're not designed for is um, franchise owners, multi-level marketers, or those seeking venture capital. So if you fit under those buckets, this pitch competition is not for you. Um, if you're a nonprofit organization at any stage of your business growth, whether you have a registered 501c3 or you intend to register as a 501c3, and you can apply if you participated in past competitions, but not if you won any prize money at a WCC pitch competition. So you're ready to apply. Now what? You fit all the criteria. Mm -hmm. Um, you, you complete and submit the application and these links will be put into the um, chat if they're not already there. I think some of them are already there. Mm -hmm. um, and everything will be on our website, including a recording of this presentation, which includes the slide deck. Um, those things will be posted um, by midnight tonight along with the application. Um, included in your application is a place to paste and to link your two minute pitch your pitch video of which we'll go into further detail. And a committee of campus and community business owners will review applications and finalists will be notified by Monday, March 6th, if you have been chosen as a finalist to participate in our live pitch competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I wanted to go a little more in depth about the two minute video and what to expect. Um, so here are some of the requirements. It cannot exceed two minutes. That is a hard and fast rule. Um, it must be uploaded to YouTube as unlisted and we'll get into instructions about that. Um, verbal presentation only, no slideshows, no embedded videos. We just wanna hear your pitch and your idea. And it's only accepted as a video link through the application, not emailed to us directly. And so here's some instructions about uploading a video. Um, we suggest recording your video through your computer or phone, posting the video to YouTube as an unlisted video, and then pasting your link into the application. Um, so we're going to jump into a little instructional video that our colleague and another EC coordinator, Claire Abraham, had created. Please note that these instructions are for uploading a video from your computer to YouTube. If you'd like to upload your video directly from your iPhone or Android device, we have links to additional instructional videos in our slideshow. First, you'll want to make sure you're logged into YouTube. On the top right, click sign in and log in with a Google account. You will need to sign up for a Google or Gmail account if you do not already have one in order to access YouTube. Alternatively, your WCC account will work as well if you have one. When you are logged in, you will see this page with your user icon in the top right corner. You'll click the icon that looks like a video camera with a plus sign and click upload video. From here, you can drag and drop your video file to upload or select a file from your computer like I'm doing here. Now you can change your video's title with this format, your name followed by your business name. The video description and thumbnail are optional parts that you do not have to change. You will also see at the bottom one more required question from YouTube if this video was made for kids. Since your pitch video isn't intended for this audience, you can select no and click next. You'll see these optional video elements. You can skip this part as well well as copyright. The next step is where you'll choose to upload your video as unlisted. There are a few different options under visibility. Public means that anyone can see or search for your video and it will be publicly viewable on your channel. And private 
means that people are only able to view your video if you manually enter their email addresses. Please upload your video, your picture pitch video, as unlisted, meaning that only people with the direct link can see your video. Only our internal EC team will have this link to your video. Finally, click save, and then you can locate this video link direct right to your video, and you can copy that directly into your pitch your pitch application form. Okay, so let me get back into our presentation. Um, let's see, I think I need to get into present mode again. Okay, so again, we'll be sharing um, this information um, by midnight tonight, so you'll get more of that if you need more instructions. And we also shared a link to um, some Google Help instructions as well. So, um, and we're available for questions. So again, um, mark your calendars. The deadline to submit your application is 5 p.m. by Friday, February 17th. Um, so we wanted to give you a little time to really um, work on your application and work on your video. And so we're really excited to see what you present. What are the judges looking for? For the first round, the judges are looking for a clear introduction of the problem you're trying to solve. They want an understandable description of your product or your service. They want to know what you're doing. They want an explanation of your targeted customer base or impacted community segment. They want to see that you've done some customer differentiation and you understand your customer. They want a statement on what makes the business or the idea unique. They want to know why you'll stand out, why you do stand out. They'll need detail of the next steps for the business launch or growth. And they want a clear, concise, and viable business idea. Remember, the video length cannot exceed two minutes. It's a verbal presentation only, no slideshow or embedded videos. Only your pitch will be judged, not your video quality or your production value. So don't worry about that. And it's crucial to include your business name in your, in your application, even if it's a working business name. Who are the judges? The judges are, are a panel of WCC staff, faculty members, business leaders, and entrepreneurs from the local community. I think it's really important to say that both Aaron and myself and the entire EC staff will be not part of the committee because we want to advise participants throughout the competition and not be encumbered. So please know that we are not on the committee. We are here to help each and every one of you as you see fit. And the judges, this is just sort of a side note because someone asked us this in previous years, the judges and the organizers will not sign non-disclosure documents. So if you have a secret patent or a secret ingredient or something like that, just be mindful and include any information that you would like. Okay, so what if my pitch makes it to the finals? So we'll briefly cover this because we do have an info session for finalists um, that go more in depth. Um, so here are some of the finalist requirements. Again, finalists will be notified by Monday, March 6th, if you want to mark your calendar. Um, we ask that finalists submit their acceptance form by Wednesday, March 15th at 5 p.m. So we give them a little time to process that. Um, we do ask that finalists attend the required finalist meetings, which we mentioned earlier. And then um, the big event, finalists will pitch live and in-person at WCC on Thursday, May 11th. And again, it's a really exciting event. Um, it, it's over the course of a few hours in the evening, and it's going to be a really fun, a, a fun opportunity. So good luck, everybody. So more about the opportunity. Um, you will pitch in front of judges, other finalists, and the public. Again, you just never know who's going to attend. Um, so it's really exciting um, to be able to do that in front of a big audience. Um, you'll, we will have two minutes for Q&A sessions. Um, so preparing your questions too is really important or preparing your answers for anticipated questions. And then at the end, winners will be announced in the evening. Um, pitches will be recorded and top winning videos will be placed on our Pitch at WCC website. So, so if you make it as a finalist, here are the um, uh, cash award prizes. So for our for-profit businesses, recall that we have 
three categories. If you're a winner in start, you'll receive $2,500. If you're a winner in the build category, you'll receive 5,000. And if you're a winner in the grow category, you'll receive 7,500. Nonprofit um, businesses will receive a winner, will receive a cash prize of $2,500. And there'll be an audience choice award um, of $500 for the person who is chosen by the audience. So with that, uh, we invite you to ask some questions. I'll stop sharing here for a bit. And again, we are recording. So if you don't want to be on camera, we invite you to keep your camera off and share your questions in chat. There was one question that came up about um, sharing the slide deck mm -hmm. um, or showing um, sharing the um, PowerPoint. Um, so just, I'm just seeing that just to make sure that um, everyone knows that this will be recorded and it'll be posted on our website, along with the application by midnight today. We have the um, info about this pitch session on our site now and we'll swap that out um, by midnight tonight for the application and for the recording as well. Mm -hmm. Good question. Can you hear me? Okay, are all the required sessions in the evening? Tyler, that's a great question. What we're going to do is um, we're going to check with the finalists on their schedules and then um, uh, schedule those required sessions where it's convenient for, um, for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then we have another question that came up in chat. Will the final pitches be in different lengths for each category? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, do you remember those? Um, I think it's, I think that it's um, for the, if you're chosen as a finalist, it's um, maybe five minutes for the grow three. And then Erin, tell me what you, you probably know the answer to this. I'm fumbling here. Yeah, we had um, three different times for start, build and grow. Um, and it was three minutes, four minutes and five minutes um, for each, depending on the category and you're in, you're presenting in. Um, another question, <clears throat> um, is this for new companies, new products? We have an existing LLC, a new product line. That Would that be appropriate? Absolutely. So really, um, it's up to you. When you apply, it's up to you to decide whether you're going to be in the start, build, or grow category. Um, again, people in the start category have an idea. They don't necessarily have customers. They could have an LLC. Um, people in the build category maybe have one to five customers, and then the grow category are looking to grow, scale their business. They're looking, like, for instance, somebody might be selling their products, their food product at a farmer's market, but they want to get their products onto shelves in stores, as an example. Does that answer your question, Chris? Okay. Um, what is venture... What is venture capital and a franchise owner? So venture capital is, if you've seen Shark Tank, <laughs> the sharks are venture capitalists. Good example. And they give you money. They invest in your company for a certain percentage or ownership of your company. We do not um, work with venture capitalists um, at the Entrepreneur Center. We work with you to receive funding or to offer um, resources for grants or for um, loans, but we do not work directly with venture capitalists. A franchise owner is like if you own a like McDonald's is a franchise or you know, Dunkin' Donuts, but those kinds of places where there are brand a recognized brand and and you buy and and operate um, one store or one location of of the of a bigger brand. Mm -hmm. Um, someone just asked, can you pitch multiple products categories in the same event? We invite people to pitch one idea, one product in one category, um, in this event. Can you go over what the mentorship looks like for the winners? Yes, because this is totally new, uh, totally new for us. So all the finalists will receive one year of mentorship. And what that means is that will be a custom program designed for you. And so um, right after the questions, we're going to just 
flash a slide up there about all of the services that the Entrepreneurship Center offers, but we offer individual coaching. We offer entrepreneurs and residents, so experts in um, different specialties and different businesses and grant writing and funding. And we also have training um, trainings that we work with. And so the mentorship will be really um, set up to offer you whatever support you need and wherever you are with your um, uh, your entrepreneurial journey. And then they asked a follow-up question regarding the nonprofit category. Is that a set prize for Start, Build, and Grow in addition to prize money for them? Good question. Or is it or is nonprofit completely separate? Nonprofit is completely separate. We really wanted to encourage um, nonprofits to um, apply and before they were in those categories, but we created a separate category. So if you're a nonprofit, um, you'd like to compete as a nonprofit. If you are a nonprofit, you will compete in the nonprofit um, part and you, the, the reward prize for that is $2,500. It's a good question. I heard somebody ask, can you hear me? They were, I think they wanted to ask a verbal question. Did, did I catch somebody? Maybe I heard that wrong. Oh, here it is in chat. Oh, hi, Suzette. Hi. Um, what if I'm trying to get a nonprofit started to raise money for a for-profit production company? So yes, you would. What I'm, so you're so you would compete in the nonprofit. Um, so you're a nonprofit. Okay. What if I'm trying to get a nonprofit started to raise money for a for-profit production company? So you would pitch um, whatever you're trying to do. So if you're getting a nonprofit together to raise money for the profit company, you would pitch it as you're a fundraiser for your for-profit. If you want to pitch as a for-profit in the three categories, you would pitch as a for-profit and you would pitch whatever the, um, the production company is doing for the for-profit. Mm -hmm. Your pitches would be very, very different. Erin, are there any questions that other people have asked in um, previous years that you feel you wanna bring up just in case um, people are thinking about it afterwards. Um, is it required for them nonprofit or 501c3 have board members, et cetera, before we start the business? No, if you are working on establishing a 501c3 and a board, um, you do qualify. And can you pitch in both categories? We ask that you pitch in um, one category. And Erin, are there any other questions that have come up in previous years? Um, I'm just sorry to put you on the spot here, but I just want to make sure we're- Yeah, we cover here. those questions Everything while we're everybody's here. Um, I think one one question that people ask me is, um, like, what are the what are what does it take to win? I mean, that's really the thing. And, and questions mm -hmm. about pitching. And I think the important thing to know is that um, during on our website we'll have tips for um, presenters, and we'll also have videos of previous winners, so you can look at at that for information as well. Um, and um, we have a number of resources on our website about pitching and being as um, creating successful pitches. Um, mm -hmm. So there are resources and support for you there as well. Mm -hmm. And one thing that has come up um, was questions about judges. So the internal judges for the first round, they're completely anonymous. Um, and the judges are made up of community members um, from WCC and beyond. Um, and again, we're not judges because um, we're here to support all of you, which is really exciting. And I'm glad I'm not a judge. And um, that's once those judges provide their um, scores, then that's when people will be notified. And then the judges you will present in person to um, judges in the community on the, on the 11th. Is this your first, if this is your first time doing a pitch, what are some helpful tips you can give? I would say be authentic, mm -hmm. tell your story, why this business is important that it's done by you. 
um, show that you're trying to solve a problem that a specific customer segment has and um, try to be unique. And I think people are unique by talking about um, themselves because everyone is unique. Mm -hmm. And to add to that, um, yeah, again, like as Michelle said, echoing what Michelle said, being authentic, sharing your story, it's really tapping into your why and your passion. And then um, thinking about too, you know, what you will do if you win, you know, and talking about that, um, talking about what you plan on doing with your business and how you plan on growing your business. Yeah. Or some of the things that judges might look for. Yeah. So Suzette's asking, if you're not able to use a pitch deck, um, can you provide an example of what we should do? Is it a talking head video? Yes. It's the talking head video um, at describing um, you, what you want to pitch and your, basically what your business idea. It doesn't need to be refined. It doesn't need to be specific on what you're going to do with the money. It needs to be about your idea. And it's very much a talking head video of you describing what your business is or whoever you designate. Um, oh, go ahead. I was just going to go over the set up a meeting, um, but Aaron, you put the, um, you put the email there. So um, you can send an email and then uh, they can fill out. There's a, a place on our website where you can fill out a form. So we just have background information so we can make sure we um, connect you with the most appropriate person for your business idea. Yeah. And one thing to keep in mind, I just put the request form as a link in chat and the application is in chat too. So um, be sure to save these links um, so you can get started. So hopefully everyone gets that okay. Um, There's a great question. Is the, how is the difference between the video and the final pitch? Often they're night and day. They're totally, di <laughs> totally different after the mentoring because the talking head is your um, talking about your pitch. You're talking about your idea. And then the pitches, um, you know, you're really talking about your business idea. So there's um, more information, not a lot of information because it's a quick sort of elevator thing, um, but you're much more refined. You're much more precise. A lot of times coaches um, suggest different ways of describing things um, or different ways or different um emphasis that you should have. So if you're just starting out, um, it's usually, of course, everyone is different, but usually um, from the video to um, your pitch is usually very, very different. Mm -hmm. And then somebody said, if I filled out the intake form in the past, do I do it again? No, if you already filled out one of our business assistance request forms, just go ahead and email us at entrepreneurship at wccnet.edu. And that email will go to our whole team and then we'll set you up. We'll give you one of our calendars and we can set you up with a meeting. We'd be happy to work yeah. with you. And we, we work with you all year round, um, regardless of if you're a pitch contestant or not, we're here for you. Yeah. And we have, we work with a lot of entrepreneurs who never want to pitch. They would never dare pitch. So <laughs> um, just so you know, we're here for, people um, in whatever way they want to start their business as well. Mm -hmm. Any other questions that you can think of? If and you, again, you can email us or reach out to if you have questions as you go through the process. And you're welcome to visit us here at the center as well on mm -hmm. WCC's campus. Um, or we can Zoom or phone, whatever is most convenient. Mm -hmm. Definitely, whatever works for you. Really terrific questions. Yeah, they're great questions. Great. I can share my screen one more time because I do have some more exciting <clears throat> programming to share with you. Great. Right. Um, let me go back into slideshow mode here. Actually. Okay. Um, so as I mentioned, you know, and as Michelle mentioned, um, we have a lot of ongoing programming and services and offerings, and we're here for you, uh, regardless of whether you participate in pitch or not. Um, 
We're here for you throughout the year, and we have a lot of really exciting um, opportunities and programs planned for the semester. And so we have an ongoing entrepreneurs in residence program. Um, and so it's made up of nine entrepreneurs in residence, um, all of which who are specialized in different topics. So if, for instance, somebody wants to get really in depth with, let's say, their marketing strategy, then we could give you their calendar and then we would connect you for a 40 minute free virtual meeting to go in depth on your marketing strategy with a marketing expert. Um, so it depends on the topic that you're working on, but um, they're all wonderful and they all have expertise in running businesses um, on various levels. But um, if there's something specific in depth that you want to go into, um, for instance, if you have a for-profit, but you want to um, do business for good and give back to the community with your for-profit, we have somebody who specializes in social impact businesses. And so um, we're happy to work with you and connect you to them. And then we have a new Make It Real program. Do you want to talk about that one, Michelle? Sure. Make It Real is just a convenient entrepreneurial training um, series. It's a hybrid program. So we're launching it actually um, this evening. Um, the program will um, focus on curating um, best assets for six entrepreneurial topics. The first one is really like, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur or thinking like an entrepreneur? And there'll be a number of sort of micro learning individual videos there with thought questions. Um, the videos will be released every other week for the next um, couple months. Um, there'll be office hours offered for people who want to talk about any of the sessions or um, their business. There'll be individual office hours um, offered for the first three sessions, so for the next month or six or six weeks. Um, and then there'll be group um, discussions offered. So if you want to talk about your business or talk about any of the training in a group session, you'll have the opportunity to sign up for that. Um, in April, I can't recall the dates, but you can see it on our on our website. In April, we will have in-person sessions and panels um, based on your business specialty. So if you have a business in the arts or in music or in retail or, or a nonprofit, there'll be an individual session with experts who will provide insights into businesses in those specific areas. And we'll be offering that um, in the afternoon and we'll be offering it the same thing in the evening. So two separate times um, to make it convenient for everyone. So it's a brand new program. Um, we'll be offering it um, this winter and then we'll be offering it continuously um, well, we'll be offering it again in the fall as well. And so we're very, very excited about it because we wanna have standardized programming that people can access. Um, and then the last um, program we have, I'm gonna just go into um, the WCC Solve It program. This is a program for WCC students and it's an effort um, and a, an opportunity for people to do a hands-on project in a short amount of time um, to learn entrepreneurial mindset. And so if you're a WCC student, no matter what classes you're taking or what major you're in, it's really important for everyone um, uh, to have entrepreneurial mindset as a potential um, employee in the future. And so students will um, sign up. Um, and they will be placed into teams to solve a real life problem from a, a corporation. So this will take place from five to seven on April 5th. Um, students will, will come to an event. They will be assigned their team. They'll receive their challenges and they'll receive, um, they'll have a coach and um, they will receive info from their coach on what they should do for the following week, which is April 12th. The event will be held from 4.30 to uh, 9.30. The teams will create solutions for their, for their challenge that they've been um, offered from the corporation, and then they'll create a, a presentation, and then they will um, present it to corporate people, to the corporate sponsors, and the sponsor will um, choose winners and they'll be um, 
uh, prizes for the winning winning team. Um, it's a chance for students to have a resume ready experience. Um, when you're going into interview, you'll now, after participating in this, have the option um, not only to say you took these courses, but that you participated in Solve It, you worked on this business problem, this is the role that you took, and this was the way that you solved it. So it's a real chance to um, get some real life experience in a very short amount of time. Um, you'll learn all sorts of entrepreneurial mindset skills like problem solving, teamwork, communication, all things that entrepreneurs need to do each and every day. And so it's a pilot this April. Um, we're limiting it to about 50 students. So um, we have a sign up um, that we'll post in the chat. And um, uh, we're looking forward to, again, building and growing um, on the Solve It um, program, just like we are building and growing and improving our pitch competition, our mm -hmm. entrepreneurs and residents, and of course, our Make It Real training. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're really excited about all of our offerings um, this semester and into the future. So, and we're excited that you're all here and interested in participating in pitch. It's going to be so great. I can't wait. Um, with yeah, that, you can year. contact uh, all of us. Um, I'm happy to put my email into chat too before we go. Um, this is our team. And then again, ways to reach us. I added our request form into chat if you'd like to connect with us that way. And I, if you email entrepreneurship at wccnet.edu, you will reach all of us as well. So we're here for you and happy to help.